guys and welcome back. Um, I'm going to be working on the bed still. And in the previous video we worked on the headboard and I finally got the tufting finished. I did not video the whole thing because it's kind of a pain in the neck. I'm not going to worry about the back side because it's going to be glued against the wall. So this is the footboard and I have to cover it. And then we'll make the mattress and put it together. So the footboard, I don't know. I guess I'll cover it. But I was thinking in terms of what might match better for the bottom. And I come up with one thought. Is if any of these colors match. And I did not find one that matched really good. So I'm just going to cover it with the same material and go from there. So bottom board, it's going to be really easy. It's not going to be padded. It's just going to be a basic piece of fabric. That matches what's already on there. Okay, so again, I only need to go so far down and it's the back side that people see that is the most important. So this is how I'm gonna do it. That one has that little hole in it. Um, Well, it's got that tape on it. Yeah, that's going to be all right. So this will be the inside. And what I'm going to do is fold. Well, I was going to do it wrong, I think. I'm going to fold that down to here. So that it doesn't go past that mattress. Like I said, there's no reason for it. Now flip it over. And we'll do the back side. And I think I might put a little something over that hole. just because I don't want it to show. And I had said on the previous um, live stream that I wanted to do um, a shout out, but I don't really actually want to do more than one. One of the people I want to celebrate is Crafty Kitty and her roommate and best friend. Erica. Um, I got a chance to finally see one of their videos. And so if you are a LOL doll collector or a Barbie collector, LOL, she has several, um, several dolls that she collects, but those are the only two right offhand I can remember. But if you are a collector and or you are a miniaturist that works in the Barbie scale of one six. You definitely want to go look at Crafty Kitty's YouTube channel because she does an amazing job. One of the things I told her was how well she points out the, the many aspects of um, collecting. So it was pretty cool to watch her videos and she has been very um, loyal to watch my videos and to always comment so I just wanted to do the same for her as she has done for me and invite you guys all over to check out her channel so 
even if you just go once, go check out her channel and I think you'll want to return. She does a lot of neat stuff over there. And a shout out to her roommate, Erica. You guys are awesome. And another very special shout out to Ara Bentley of Bentley House Productions. She, um, I've been watching her for a while now. I'm actually one of her patron members. And she is another person that just does phenomenal things in um, 112 and 124 scale. And I feel like she could do anything. I, I, I don't feel like there is a scale that Aira could not work in. But uh, she's doing a, a few things that's uh, most definitely worthwhile to go look at. So if you get a chance, go to her YouTube channel, Bentley House Productions, and have a look at her stuff. And then the next person would be my friends and family. I thank you all for helping me um, in my miniature journey. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. And um, I'm very grateful to be such, you know, a part of your world and your entertainment. So keep watching and keep subscribing. And don't forget, guys, uh, I'm going to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. And I've already shown you what the prize is. It is the Starry Night um, Fairy and Swan Kit. Sleepy Swan, I think is what they call it. But Okay, I need to put a little more glue along this edge and get that seamed in. And outside of that, I think the footboard is done. And we can get this bed put together. And then I'm going to cover the outside of Granny's attic. I'm going to get that covered up. And I'm going to... There was something else I wanted to do. Now I forgot what it was. I want to... I, I, I was going to spackle the outside and I still might. Then I thought, no, I'll just put in siding. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. But I'm definitely going to do something. All right, there's my headboard. There's my footboard. So these two will be set up like so. Now I am going to use a different color for the blanket. And I think I'll go with this. You know what else though? I have this yellow satin, guys. I have yellow satin. So that just might be the way I go on that footboard. And I mean, uh, comforter. Let me get that. Yeah, I forgot I had this. I remember using it when I was doing um, the blinds. Okay. So I've got this, which I think will be perfect because it matches that yellow. Yeah, I'm going to do this for the bed. And then I have the pattern for it here somewhere. This is it. So I just got to cut it that size which should not be difficult. I probably should have laid that down to do that so that it was even. I wonder 
wonder if I should get my clover out and hem those edges or just glue them down. I think I'll just glue them down. <clears throat> I think I'll use my fray check. So much of a mess I can make today, guys. <clears throat> Let's see if this will do it. See if I can fold this over and make this work. Perhaps not. I think I'm going to need regular glue. Then I think I might need my clover. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need my clover, guys, to instantly dry that, which is what I like. I'll get it out. Give it a chance to get warmed up. And then later on today, I'm going to be working on my dolls. Hi, hey, little crafty. I'm great. How are you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, hey, I know I need to clean mine. I need to clean mine so bad. So, oh, I don't know if you got a chance. This is what the headboard to the bed looks like. And the footboard is basically the same. So, anyhow, that's going to be the headboard and the footboard. And then I got this really satiny finish um, to fold down. I know I like to print too. Anyhow, that's what I'm doing. And then after I finish this, I'm going to move over to probably working on um, Granny's Attic. Pretty sure. I need to get the um, outside done on hers and the roof. I gave you a shout out. You missed it. And does this look familiar? This is what I'm going to give you, Miss Crafty Kitty, for being such a cool subscriber. And this is in 1-6 um, scale. So that's coming out to you here pretty soon. I'm going to have to, go, I'm gonna have, to have you go to your my email again and email your, me your address so I can get that sent out to you. Okay? All right. So let me turn this on high. This thing gets really, really hot. So I'm just going to put it on high and get some heavy duty fabric. So that I can come back. Oh, hey, well, no, I'll show you. This, I measured the crock pot, and it is, it's more, um, more scale for you. Let me show you how I found my doll. She's actually my model. Let me see if I can find her again. I used her to hold that up. See, she can hold the crock pot. Let me see. Let me lift it up a little bit. Sorry. See, this is her 
per scale. See? Whoops! <laughs> it's still here! But this is more 112 scale than anything else. Let me get her in the right spot. So I'm going to send this to you. I'm going to send this out to you. That's going to be yours. Yours. So if you could just go over to my email and put your email in, I'll get that sent out to you. Hopefully this iron is getting hot. We'll try this again. All right, hopefully this isn't. Oh, shoot. I know what I did wrong. You got to turn it on. You got to turn it on. Hopefully I can get some more stuff made for you, too. That's what's nice about making that a lot of that in um, with paper because it doesn't weigh much. Okay, that's almost glued down. I gotta get some fabric, some heavier fabric. Go with this. Sorry if I hit the camera, guys. So this iron does a couple of things. Not only does it iron, but it practically instantly Oh, I know. Well, this one, I don't know. I you know, it's got a high, medium, and low up here. And so I get I get convinced it's like my curling iron. Once I turn it on, then, you know, put it on high, then it's, it's on for good. But I f always forget that it has an on and off switch. How's your guys' weather? You know what? If you get one of these irons, be really careful because this whole metal part right here heats up. That's why it's got this plastic cage around it, but I, I always touch it right down under there. And I mean, this sucker gets like 400 degrees hot. And I got mine on um, eBay. They're, they're very expensive, but I lucked out and got this one on an auction and won the bids. I think I only paid 26 bucks for it. It's almost there. Yeah, I, I got this one for pretty cheap. Get that bent over there. So I think that I just need to let this one get a little hotter. I made, um, what did I make? Oh, doll clothes one time. And I made them look like they were folded up. And I did some towels and I did some other stuff with the clover iron. And it turned out pretty good. Let me peel this off. And I'll do this side real quick before it gets too hot.
Are you building anything new, Crafty? I call you Crafty. What do you prefer me to call you? No more rain. Yay, it's around 35 there. Oh my gosh. You know what? I, I, I have never collected dolls. I, well, I can't say I've never collected dolls. Um, there for a while I was collecting um, porcelain dolls. And it I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, growing up, it was hard for us to collect anything because we moved around a lot. And so... When you're constantly moving, it's just hard to collect anything. But I have always collected miniatures. So now I want to get this side at least even. Now my mom did. My mom collected the Kachina dolls. And my fun's always been in making the miniatures. So I got this side. Now I'll cut this side. Nope, I've always liked just making miniatures. And I think that was actually by accident because, like I said, my grandmother gave me a dollhouse. I saw the dollhouse. I don't know if I saw it on TV or or where, but I started talking about wanting a dollhouse, wanting a dollhouse, wanting a dollhouse. And she was listening and bought me the dollhouse for Christmas. And let me tell you, I just about flipped over backwards when I saw it. Oh, you know what? My niece, my niece collects dolls. Oh, there you go. And you see, you got to be happy. You know, you, I, I, that's the same thing. I reached a point where I said, mm -mm, I'm going to do this. And I lucked out and I met the right person. There you go. And you know what? That's me. I have, well, I have built nine houses now. And that's not counting the little rooms. So I'm happy and I'm, I'm like you. I'm going to do what I love. Let me just make sure I've got this even. So that's what I do. I Oh, and I got some goodies yesterday. I went to a second-hand store and I found some more garbage. I mean, goodies. So I'll have to show those to you here in a little while. Okay, what happened to my ironing board? Here's my ironing board. And it's definitely good when you have somebody that you could share your hobby with, you know? Okay, so let me see if I can, that's so awesome, I'm building an Among Us themed doll room, it's almost done. It's that new game the kids are into nowadays. Oh, how cool, even the big kids like me, oh, I'm still a big kid. I'm almost 60 years old and I think I'll still be a big kid my whole life. I don't ever want to grow up. Okay, so that's not the most perfect look. But it's going to work. 
because it's going to go over the bed. I don't think I've heard of heard of that. An Among Us. I'm going to have to look that up. Is it like um a game that you can play or or is it a TV show? Oh no, I you know what? No, I'm 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 56. 56. I want to be 40. <laughs> I, I'll try, I'll go back to being 40. Now this I realize is probably going to be pretty big. So I'm going to keep the nicer of the two sides. See, it's a, it's a little long here. And a little long here. But I'm not going to... Oh no, no. I'm 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 an old lady. But I think being happy helps. Okay, so now I got to find something to make the mattress with. I think I'll start out with this. No, I have, believe it or not, um, I have kids close to your age. I have stepkids older than you. And I have one grandbaby. It's a bit crazy you're on a ship. And you have imposters. Who are trying to destroy the ship, etc., and kill people. So you gotta try to figure out who's the imposter. Oh wow, now that's my kind of game. I might like that. That would be cool. That would be fun. I um I would like to try that game. So where do you find it? The game. So this is going to be my mattress. Phone. I thought it was weird at first, but I got the hang of it now. It's an app on the phone called Among Us. I'm going to have to check that out. I really, really am. That sounds like to me it would be a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm just gluing the bed, the mattress actually, and I'm not going to be real specific with this. Heck yeah, free is good. Free is good. I have um, Gummy Drop. I play Gummy Drop and I play um, Backgammon and Trivia, Trivia Crack with my daughter. Okay, so there's the mattress. I don't know if you were on earlier, but I gave you a nice shout out and I was like, oh, and I was appreciative of the shout out you gave me. So I really appreciate you. Okay, so there's the mattress. So that was easy. Now I'm going to glue it to the bed. 
probably should have trimmed that a little better. That was easy. All right, now I'm going to glue it to the bed. I'm going to glue it right along here. I like it whenever... I was glad you helped me with the live stream stuff, too, because it's so much easier doing live stream. It looks like she could... Oh, cool. Well, that was nice of you. Thank you. Like I said, it's it's a lot of fun. So now I'm just gluing the headboard on. And hopefully that'll stay there pretty good. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. Hey, and um, is she going to do her stuff online or is she just... Does she have a channel? Because if she has a channel, I'll go I'll go uh look at hers too. And tell her too to check out um Bentley House Productions. That's a very um talented woman, Ara Bentley. Okay, so there's that part. Now I got to put the footboard on. And the footboard will go here. It's a little warped. Let me see if I can straighten it out. There we go. Okay, so now I can put the footboard on. And I marked it. Yeah, she was asking for help. Shh. Link real quick. I thought you could help answer some of her questions. Yes. Ara. Oh, okay. Ara has helped you a lot with questions and such. Oh, I know. she's. She, I don't know how I would ever get along without her. And thank you for the link. Okay, so then, whoops, the footboard will go here. Well, that just fell apart. I thought I had that better. I'm not too worried about the headboard because it's going to get glued to the wall. Well, boy, did I think that was better. Let me just glue it again. Well, you know what? I the reason the the whole reason I even started a YouTube channel was because I got that San Franciscan 550 and there was no help out there on it. None. And I thought, "You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to build this thing and hopefully there'll be some help out there for somebody who has questions." So that's what started this whole YouTube thing. I've only had a YouTube channel since October. Of 2020, actually. And I appreciate learning from people a lot. Okay, so is this still tacky? Not quite. Well, 
well, thank you. Thank you for liking it. Yeah, that's the whole reason. I was like, well, you know. And then there was another lady who was going to digitize the um, VHS that came out. And I thought it was a VHS for the 550. It was for the 557 and the 555. So that was that. But thank you. I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad I could help somebody. But I have to show you guys the, uh, while this is drying, I have to show you some of the furniture. I printed out some furniture. Let me see if I can find it. That I'm going to start building. Let me see if I can see it. I laid it down here somewhere. I had it all rolled up. It might be in my kitchen. Now, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get that roll. Okay, I found it. I don't know why I hadn't brought it into the craft room, but I didn't. Okay, so when I'm coming up with the new kit... I'm going to go with a 50s theme. So the bathroom's going to look like that. And I'm probably going to go ahead and do that blue. And then I'm going to make this retro table and chairs. But I, there's one in here of the round chairs. I'm probably going to go with the round chairs. And then this is the record player. So I'm probably going to put a record player in there. Let's see. Um, I linked, I'll link it on, I'll, oh, okay, on a comment, but 14 minutes, you will see the kit she got. It's a full house, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 50s. I'm going to go with the 50s. Here is the round table and chairs. So I'm probably going to go with the round table and chairs. And then there is the, they call it a conversation table. And then this will be, I remember my grandma having this stool right here. And then this will be the living room set. So that will be that. And then... This is going to be in the bedroom. And then that's going to be, well, if I can get it in focus here, that's going to be sort of what the kitchen looks like. I'm going to try to make that brick wall with the oven combo inside of it. But the cabinets are going to be metal. Not The cabinets will be made out of metal like this. So the cabinets will be like that. But I'm going to try to find that retro green. See? And I'm going to try to find some of that um, wallpaper. So that's going to be in that, that newest little kit that I am going to be putting together. If I ever get done with this one. What would be cool? A 50s like soda shop or something. Oh my God, that would be such a cute room idea. You know what? I did that one time and I made a, a little soda shop. But you know what I did? I put, um, I Coca-Cola themed it and it was adorable. Okay, so I got to get some blue on here. Yeah, I love, I love the 50s. I always tell my friends I think I was born at the wrong time. I should have been a child of the 50s. Okay, so here's the bed. And that looked like it lined up okay. So that'll be the little bed. Oh man. You know, and I and I really enjoy it because I was actually. I was actually an 80s kid, but 
the few short years I was in the 70s, from probably 70, 75 on through 1980s. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the 80s, or I mean the 70s actually. Okay, so we're hoping this will dry good. I'm not going to put the mattress or the um, bedspread on it until see it dries good. What I'm going to have to do is flip it over and put some supports. So once this dries, I'll put the supports on it. The most thing that I'm hoping is that it'll at least be level. I think the 80s had some pretty good music. But still think the 70s were better. And then I had a millennial. She's... Eesh. This is that tacky glue clear. Let me see if I can let go of this long enough to show you. It's the tacky glue clear. Clear gel tacky glue. Clear clear gel. And I don't know why, but it's it's my favorite. I have the tacky glue white. And it might be a little stronger, but it to me, it doesn't dry clear enough. Okay, so there. I gotta get this bed level. And that's it right there. Yeah, I need to bring the top up some. I need to bring the top up slightly, which is doable. Okay, so I'm going to have to use my gluing jig to hold this puppy together. <laughs> it's been, um, it, it does. In fact, sometimes it dries a little too fast. And then other times when I'm impatient, like I am now, it doesn't dry fast enough. So I'm trying to get this even. So it would have to be like that. Um, The thing with the hot glue and the miniatures is that it leaves a rift. And you know, you're actually right on this bottom piece. I could use the hot glue because there's that little gap in there. So I just might do that. Yeah, I just might use the hot glue on this one because it's being a pain in the neck. And I do use hot glue, um, but I try not to use it on the miniatures because it, it is, it dries a little thick and it's hard to get it thin. I actually even have, see I have my little glue gun but I have a um a wooden one that does hot wood glue no oh you know what do you think that it dries too stiff because I used it too and it 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 dried really stiff for me because the smaller the project you go the um the more it shows does that make sense like it shows up real good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And I do have Fabri-Tac somewhere. And the Fabri-Tac works good. Oh, let me show you something else I use just, just for your, just for your information. I use this stuff. It's called Tack it over and over. And I'll use this for like pictures on the wall. And things that don't weigh much. And I'll glue. I'll glue whatnots and little things down with this. If I think I'm going to move them later on. Because this glue doesn't actually dry. It, just, it stays real. Not super tacky. But it stays tacky enough to hold stuff down. Like pictures on the wall. And then if you want to move them or change them out. Like um. Little Halloween decorations or little Christmas decorations. And you just want to, if you're one of those that likes to decorate your house, 
Then you can put up the lighter stuff with that. And you don't have to worry about um, it destroying your wall when you take it down. It does really good. But I have the fabric tack and it and I use it for the usually for fabric. Ooh, you do it all. Oh, hair. Oh, I need to find that tack it over here. Yeah. Well, I it's she does use rubber cement, but she was the one who um she did um she did a video um, on finally gluing stuff down, and I think she used that tack it over and over. But yeah, she, you know what? What is your favorite? Um, do you like the uh, Captain's Quarters, or do you like her Adam's Family, or her cardboard house? Which which one do you like best? And she has, what else does she have? Oh, she has the um, abandoned um, coffee shop. That's a good one. And she also has, yeah, I like the, I like the cardboard series. Mrs. Periwinkle. She's my favorite. But I really like her, um. She has one she called the Derelict Writer's Retreat. That's a good one, too. And then the little house she's doing right now for the skeletons. I like that one. And have you seen where the gnomes live? Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. And where the gnomes live, that's another good one. Let's see if this glue is finally hot enough. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There we go. That's going to work. Yay. I need another glue stick. Hey, do you guys have a Dollar Tree there? Oh, I love my... You know what? My froggy stuff is perfect for you because everything she does is Barbie size. Um... Go see where the gnomes live. You'll get she the lady that does that, and I cannot say her name um, to save my life, but she's from Canada, and she's super good. Okay, yay! Look, crafty, that worked out great. That's pretty sturdy. It's got a little bit of a bead of glue right here, but you're not going to be able to see it, and so now I'll get this top piece so it's not so wonky. And look. My little bed. And I think I might lift it a little bit. Oh, so do you guys have a good selection of crafting supplies at yours? Because our little Dollar Tree, they try, but we're just such a small little community that they carry mostly um garden seeds and stuff like that they don't have a big selection okay so now then i can get this cut to fit and i was going this direction with it yeah that was way too big <laughs> I don't know how they thought that other one was going to fit. But I'm going to cut it right about there. Yeah, I love our Dollar Tree. And my brother works at one in Tucson, Arizona. In... He has really nice, nice stuff at his, but 
like I said, we're in a really small community. So we don't get a lot of phenomenal stuff. So what... But we do have many different wood things and such. If you're looking for anything in particular, let me know because I go a lot. Oh my God, did you see the mini wood? Oh, hey, yes. Do you have any of those? I bought two cases. I bought two cases of those. Okay, this isn't quite straight. Yep, I did, and I bought two, two, two cases. I got one of each kind, actually. So I'm thinking about making something with them. I'm just cutting this fabric right now. For a store like, oh, that would be cool. You know what? I think I might try to make a bed from them. We might do that. That would be fun. Okay, so there's this. And I can kind of hem that bottom in. A little bit. Yeah, I bought I bought two cases actually. I got one like I said, I got one of the larger pallets and then I got one of the smaller pallets. And then I got the little um square I don't know what 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 you would call them, the little square um they're little isn't this weird? I'm having a hard time remembering the name. They're little crates. Little crates with wooden handles. Oh, I love Pinterest too. I love Pinterest. I used to be on Pinterest all the time looking for ideas. And then to be honest... I'm, I found Aira, and so I kind of let Pinterest go for a while. But I still go back. I refer back when I need to make, like if I'm doing research on a project. And when I was working with kids, I used to use Pinterest a lot. Yeah, I'll have to find you one of the little crates. I'm not sure where I put them. But I did, I'll, I'll, I'll get one out maybe on Wednesday when I'm doing the Wednesday show. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty well flattened. I think I was going to make... Um, If I recall, I was going to make like coasters and put football teams on them for guys for, you know, to kind of be a, a manly thing. Okay, so there's that. And I, if I cut it right. I'll just cut it across here. And then I'll glue this down. I'll put the lace on it and glue it down. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. But you know, I never did it. And so they're still in my, my other craft room. Okay, so I have some lace. I'm going to put the lace across the top and sides. And that'll kind of hide my hem.
maybe I can get that a little straighter. It's a little off, off center there. That's a little better. Okay, now I have lace over here. And this I'm going to glue to the sides. Yeah, this one, this came, this actually came with the kit. So I'm going to put it on the sides here. And if I have enough, I'll go across the top. Not worried about up here because up here is going to have pillows. And down here you shouldn't see, but if I have enough, I'm going to go all the way around. And this is where I think I'll use my fabric tack. And then I find all kinds of crazy stuff that I get at yard sales. Like I have this red, let me show you. I have this red, um, it's called flock. It's like red velvet. And I got it at a yard sale. Look at that. And I've never used it. I'm not sure what, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I was like, I got to have it. So let's go along here. Real thin layer. And then we'll put this. I'll stretch it. There's one side. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I had. Well, after this video, after this video, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go get the, um, the, the other bag of stuff. So when I come back, I'll do, um, I'll do a, I'm just going to post a regular video next and then I'll do a, sh a shot of all the stuff I found yesterday. Cause I found some, a flocked headboard maybe. Oh, there you go. Oh, it could red velvet. Yeah. Well, you know, when I was looking for it in green so I could make a pool table. I wanted to make a pool table. So it looks like I might have enough to do both sides. And then maybe one bottom. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. A red flock headboard. That's a great idea. See, mine's Fabrifix. It's not Fabri-Tac, but it works pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> Where it comes out fast, too, let me tell you. Yikes. Pay attention, Rhonda. Oh, well. Okay, so that one will go here. And this one dries really fast and makes a mess. And a heart tub for granny. Ah! <laughs> now that would be good. Granny and, and put an Elvis doll in there with her. Granny and Elvis. Okay, so there is what it will look like. Now I am going to glue that down. So that looks pretty good to me. Can you see? That looks pretty good. And then I'll make the little pillows. There we go. 
All right, so there's that. Now what I have to do is very carefully glue that down. And I still have that big old glob of glue here, so I'm just going to run it along the side. That should be enough. And then I'll just fold that down. James Dean. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, the things Granny could get in trouble doing with James Dean, right? <laughs> Break out her vodka. Shame on me. <laughs> yep. All the good guys are gone, huh? Okay, so now then I'm just going to fold this side down and glue it. Just like that. And so my little bed will be done, Crafty. I'm so happy. I still have to figure out the couch. But there's the bed. Yay, the bed is done. I'll do the pillows here in just a bit. These are fun little kits. Have you seen the kit that I'm going to give away next? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks in the, the room. So it's going to be like that with the little pillows right here. I think that looks okay. And then I think I'll make a little lace or a little glass. I'll make a little glass light for it right here. So that'll be that. All right, I'm pretty happy. And then I got to put, I guess I could put the railing on now because all of the hard stuff's done. So you should see the mess I got here. Hopefully I can find the, there it is, the railing. Okay, so this one's going to go here. Right here. Just like that. Did, I, did you see the balcony on this one? I put the balcony. You know what? I'm working on another clay person right now. Actually, I am. Yes. I definitely am going to be working on clay people. Um... If you go back and look at the the video that says right side up, you'll see um, the new person I'm working on. He kind of looks like Shrek. And so, yeah, I'm going to be working on those. In fact, I'm going to work on them probably today. And I think I'm going to make a series of people. Okay, stay. I'm going to be making... Um, I'm going to try to make tinier people for the little house, but I don't know. I'm not going to commit myself to that one. It's just an idea I've been bouncing around. And 
and um, this house I'm going to give to my daughter. She wants it, so it's going to be hers. Okay, so then this will go in here. Just like that. So the You know what? That's what happens to me. Um, I make the dolls. And then, like Granny, I had to make Granny twice. And still, if you look at Granny, she's got a pretty big noggin. Um, you know, I like... I love 112 scale. 112 scale is my favorite. And then I started working, kind of sort of working in... 124 scale which is half that size and then I got these kits um I have the uh Kathy's flower shop I need to finish putting together and I just fell in love this one I could see myself getting addicted to putting these ones together really easily addicted so I got to be careful um and then I have the pink loft let me show you the pink loft and I didn't put any lights in the pink loft because it was so light anyhow. But let me show you this one. This is the pink loft. Isn't that cute? And I'm not quite done. Um, I do like one six scale. I love one six scale. And if I had enough room in my house, in my craft room, I would have a one six scale. But like I said, these ones really started to get very addicting. So, yep, pink. And I finished, I got to finish a couple of things in this one. I got to finish the bed. And then here's a little laptop that goes with it. And that goes on the bed. And the little books. I want to glue the little books back in the case. And then I got to finish the couch. I got to finish putting the couch together. And then out here in the patio, I want to fix that. But yeah, isn't that adorable? I love it. So, like I said, I started getting addicted to these ones. Big time. Look under the little, let's see, is it on? Look under the staircase at the little gifts. See the little gift boxes? Right here. So I had to be really, really careful. But yeah, that's that one. And then I have... I love these boxes. And then I have... Um, Kathy's Flower Shop. And then I want to show you a different one. A whole off the, off the beaten path. This one... Um, this one is the Flintstones, the little Flintstones house and see the Flintstones inside. I have to finish painting it, but that's the, uh, that they're all watching TV. Isn't that cool? This one was one of my projects I did with my kids. A whole town. Oh, there you go. That would be fun. I would like to do bedrock. If I was going to build a town, it would be bedrock. See how cool that is? I just got to finish painting the inside of it. But, yeah, paper mache. Paper mache, yeah. And, yeah, and then I have the hole up here. That's where the light goes in. And if I put the light in, well... It's so awkward being on camera. If I put the light in, then I have one that flickers. So if, if I put the light in there and it, and it flickers, it looks like they're actually watching TV. So I'll get this one finished someday. But yeah, that was just paper mache on a balloon. And 
then here real soon I'm gonna do a week of catching up and this is the bottom of the flower shop and this one I put stones and grass and see this one has the stone walk stone walkway and then it has the I've pretty much built all of the furniture for this one and a lot of the little things that go in there this is all part of it so I'm gonna take a week um, thank you thank you for saying that I'm gonna take a week this is the floor and the floor goes in that's the floor and then all of this furniture sits inside and this is part of See, and this has all the little flowers and stuff in it. I just have to finish it. I just really need to sit down and finish it. I'm not quite there yet. And this is the little greenhouse that opens up. It opens up and goes around it. So it's it frames in the little greenhouse. So I got to get that one done. Yeah, I really got to get it done. So, um, as soon as I finish the, um, the kit, this one that I'm working on now, I'm going to, this is a, um, an appointment to get this one done. <laughs> okay. So the bed is done. I think what I'm going to do, and I've really enjoyed talking with you, I think I'm going to go take a little bit of a break and grab me something to drink and wash my hands and I'll come back. And I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon is just do a regular video. But thank you. Oh, I'm going to make one. I'm going to make one again. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Give Erica a hug and tell her I said hello. And you guys take care and be safe out there, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.